Hey guys, Mario here, and welcome back to yet another Minecraft tutorial. Today, we are here with a very simple but nicely detailed medieval stable. It is a bit of a smaller one, but nonetheless, let's take a quick pan around. So as you can probably see, one of the main features of this particular stable is the hay bales on the roof. Now that's something I did decide to get out of my comfort zone and just experiment with, and I think it did come out pretty nice here. I also used a bunch of spruce, both the trap doors and slabs, to just detail it and sort of round out the entire build, give the roof a nice whole look. We also have small bits of cobblestone to just detail it, add some more color, but not a whole lot. Overall, it's just a very open build with three of the four sides being open just to give it that nice airy feel for horses. It's also detailed plenty on the inside as well as we'll see later. Okay guys, so diving right into it once again, here are the materials that are gonna need for today's build. Uh, I don't think I'm missing any particular blocks this time. No, I did miss a few on the last one, but these should be all the blocks you want. We have the main oak logs for the frame. We have all these spruce detail blocks. We don't actually need the full planks. And we also have the stripped oak here. A uh, big variety of decoration blocks. Um, some dirt blocks and some stone. So we're going to go ahead and break it here. So to start off guys, this is a very simple framework. It's not really much of a framework at all since it is just such a small build. Um, so as you can tell here, we have the groundwork laid out. It's just six logs spaced three apart in a rectangle like this. And we just wanna build each one up by three blocks. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, and one, two, three. So very good. We don't even need to connect them right now at all. And something special about this roof is that we have these hay blocks. So this is gonna serve sort of as our framework, but not really, it's just really the main roof block. So we're connecting them just like this. And since there really are no stairs and slabs for like this hay bale, we kind of have to make use of the clunkiness of the full block. Uh, so I didn't want to really go for like an entire full peak roof so i'm building it just slightly up like this and then we can use wood details later on to sort of round it out that might not make a whole lot of sense now but i'll show you guys what i mean so you later on we can mix up like all the directions that they are in but we'll just keep them all straight like this for now all right now we should have something kind of ugly like this but don't worry we'll make it look very nice in no time uh, so we're gonna take our spruce stairs here and just place upside down stairs at the top of all these logs and for the front we're gonna do it on as many sides as we can here so it's three and then as we come around the back we're just gonna do it uh, on the outside side so we're gonna leave this one alone since we're gonna have a wall there and we're gonna leave these two plain oops and then just these two outside so that is what we have and now coming back around to the front we're gonna grab our spruce slabs here and just make our simple shallow little roof peaks so starting from one end here we're gonna place it at the top then slowly make our way up peaking right there start it on top of the stair and join it together so we can start back from this corner, gradually go up like this, and then meet up with it. So now that we have the front of the roof done, we're going to finish off the top and then head around to the back wall. So now for the top here, we're just going to grab some trap doors, place them at the lower side of this slab like so. We're going to go two, one slab, and then two trap doors. We're going to go two trap doors. And then two trap doors all right now from here we're gonna head around to the back wall here go with the cobblestone foundation just at the bottom in the middle we're gonna have upside down cobble stairs for some extra detail and depth then we're gonna have stripped oak running all the way up 
and at the top block here and then we're gonna have spruce stairs one forward and then one upside down we save the middle block for a nice little fence window like so now that we have the back wall created we can sort of just mimic the front here and create this shallow peak with the slabs once more so we start in this corner gradually go up and meet it like that start in this corner gradually go up all right so now that we have the general structure of the roof down we have a couple more details to do on the side uh, but first up we'll get all our fences down here So just have fences running down the sides of these and one in the middle to split it. Now with that, towards the front, we want three fence gates just to allow easy passage in and out of the stable for our horses. You can just open all of them up and leave and close it when you want. All right, now we're just gonna wrap up the roof and then continue on with the rest of the details because this is pretty much the entire build just without the details. Now for these sides here, we just wanted something pretty simple to enclose it up. Uh, so we're gonna have slabs, two slabs like this, trap doors underneath, and one trap door connecting the two. So it makes a nice little enclosure for the hay. Next up, we wanna just mirror that on the other side here. So once again, two slabs down here, trap doors underneath, and then one in the middle connecting. Once you have that, we can start doing some details on the inside of the pen for starters we have three trap doors on these side fences then to add some more support on the inside as you can tell it sort of just looks like the hay is floating we're gonna get spruce stairs on either side like this and a trap door in the middle same on the other side here upside down stairs and a trap door in the middle. And now for this middle beam, I have two spruce stairs, trap door in the middle, but we're also gonna have them running down the sides here. Now we have these hay blocks sort of supported. For these, we're just gonna have a simple slab, trap door, slab alternation. So as you can tell, the build does feature a lot of trap doors, um, which is fine because they do provide plenty of detail and they have that nice like elevation shift which is great so now everything is looking very nice and supported okay now our build is pretty much complete we're just gonna go around the sides with some cobblestone stairs uh we're gonna skip the middle here and just go around the edges this just adds a little bit of support at the base my game sounds are quite loud this tutorial so i apologize for that okay now we have those cobble stairs and we're gonna go around with buttons as well like so one here 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 and here i will have one no i don't think we'll have one there okay now your general structure of the stable is completely done most of the detailing is done as well we can actually dive inside the pen itself uh so we can grab our dirt blocks, some coarse dirt, podzle, and path blocks. Of course, if you're gonna make this in survival, you can just grab yourself a shovel and till them yourself. Uh, so before you do that, we're gonna put down a cauldron with some water. Um, doesn't exactly matter which particular spot you wanna place it in, just somewhere a little bit out of the way. Um, you can still fit your horse in it but it's a nice detail piece. And then we'll have some hay bales as well. Again, make sure you still have enough space for your horse uh, with all this detailing in. Now from here, we wanna change out a couple of the ground blocks with uh, different dirts, like coarse dirt, podzil, and path. This just gives it that like poopy brown look you know <laughs> which is always very nice well not nice per se but it's a good touch in like any animal themed build especially in a pen here adds quite a nice bit of detail and yeah that's the inside pretty much nice and detailed 
On the outside here, I just utilized the new barrel block. We have a chest on top. And for some extra detail, we can showcase some items. Like if you wanna have saddles in here, have some horse armor. And we can also have like some apples chill in here. So yeah, that is pretty much a wrap on the build. I know it's a bit of a shorter tutorial. <laughs> My previous ones took quite a bit of time too. I wanted to be a little more straight into the point with these from now on. Um, I still do want to explain my thought process on a lot of these decisions, but I don't want to drag them out a little too long, you know. And plus, it is a little bit of a smaller build this time, so I do hope you guys enjoyed that. Well, that's going to be it. Uh, all we really have to do here is grab a horse. Oh, the, what the heck? Horse spawn egg not spawn horse okay yeah oh no okay you're good you're fine see that shouldn't happen in a real life scenario yeah so you got your horses in there you got the horses in the back and if you really want you get the horse tag that's attached right here you can get the hat that's matte black and the boots that's black to match Any hoosers. <laughs> Enough of that. Uh, I'm gonna have to end it here. Uh, I apologize if it's a, just a little bit of a shorter video. I do know you guys enjoy these though. Um, of course, our latest tutorial has been amazing. So thank you all for the support on that one. Again, if you haven't already, do make sure to go check out the latest series, the Build Showdown series, and vote on either mine or Josh's build because that series does depend on you guys to be active and continuously vote on who has the better build so yeah that's gonna be it for this uh short medieval stable tutorial hope you all enjoyed it comment down below any suggestions or recommendations for future builds and i'll catch you all in the next video guys peace out goodbye